Welcome to this Filmora Masterclass. I'm Sean Kitching, a full-time travel filmmaker and YouTuber. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about transitions using wipes, masks, and a couple of other little fun things. Let's get into it. An easy way to spice up your cinematic sections when video editing is by using transitions. One of my favorite styles of transitions is these wipe effects where you can basically swipe between shots and create this really cool effect of kind of a smooth transition going between two different shots. Filmora gives us a couple of tools that makes these transitions actually quite easy to do. And if we do them right, we can end up with some cool shots like this. Before we get to the editing process, let's just quickly cover filming. Personally, I like to do these effects on footage that is generally filmed handheld so that it has some nice movements in it and it will also contain kind of some nice swipes or rotations in the natural footage that I can use when I'm creating these transitions to further sell the effect. So when you are filming and you think you might be wanting to use these transitions, don't be afraid of giving your camera a little whip at the beginning and end of your shots or even just filming in a handheld including some of that organic raw movement. Once we're in Filmora I'll drop all of the clips we're going to be using for the transitions straight into my timeline. I'll start cutting them and organizing them to see which ones might work best with each other as well as cutting on the parts of the clip that I think would work well for an intro if it has some sort of movement and also for the end of that clip for the outro if it has another little whip or movement in camera that would work well. Something to look out for is it's gonna work a lot better if clip A and clip B have the same type of movement where they meet. So at the end of clip A, I might want a certain direction of camera movement, and I'm gonna look out for my second clip, being clip B, to start with that same type of directional movement. If we're not going as extreme as an actual whip, I at least wanna make sure that the direction of movement in my two video clips matches each other, because if you are transitioning from one clip that is moving left to right on screen into another clip that is moving a completely different direction, they're not gonna flow or feel smooth to the viewer once we've applied our transitional effect. So look out for the direction of movement, pair your clips with other clips that are going in the same direction so that they flow seamlessly together. Now we can actually start building out our transition. So you can see on my timeline, I have these two clips that I'm gonna cut between. The first thing that I wanna do is start masking to create a bit of that wipe transition from the one clip to the next. So I can create a mask in any appropriate part of my first shot, and I wanna make sure that I feather off that mask so that it's not a hard line of difference in footage. So we can expand our feather out, and then the next step is that we wanna add some keyframes. We're gonna use these keyframes to wipe that mask transition from the one clip to the next in a smooth fashion. So simply by adding in our keyframes like this straight on our clip, we can move the mask to match exactly how we're gonna change from clip A to clip B. Something else that I like to do to help sell the effect is to add a speed ramp towards the end of our first clip where it speeds up, and in our second clip, I'm gonna add a speed ramp as well, starting from fast, going down into normal speed. So now, even without our mask, these clips are actually gonna speed ramp into each other and flow really nice and smoothly because we've picked clips that are going in the same direction. Although our clips here are demonstrating a kind of side-to-side -side movement, you can apply the same transitional techniques to any shots and you can get as creative as you like. Don't let your creativity limit you on here you can really go however you like and you can rapid fire these all next to each other creating a really fast paced flow where you're kind of going down this wormhole of different transitions from shot to shot and it ends up with a very immersive experience for the viewer that's going to be watching it. If we really want to take these transitions to the next level, we want to add sound effects, even things like whoosh sound effects for our actual transition of that speed ramp and all sound effects can be found right right in Filmora in their library. So you can just simply search for what you're looking for, like a whoosh, and you can drop it into your timeline, making your transition really come alive by having those sound effects. 
I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys can create some awesome transitions in your up and coming cinematic videos. I will see you in the next one.